Here we go. UFC six super fight. Daniel Severin, Ken Shamrock. Two masters of their discipline. Let's meet one of our competitors. A three-time UFC star, a super fight veteran, and the Pancrase Association world champion, Ken Shamrock is one of the most popular and respected fighters in the octagon. Let's see what he can do tonight. I've heard all the hype. I've seen all the press. It's time to step into the octagon and see if Shamrock can't tame Dan the Beast Severn. Ken Shamrock, Pancrase Association shoot fighting champion. His third UFC. He lost to Hoist Gracie. He had a draw with Hoist Gracie. Four years as a shoot fighter, goes to Japan eight times a year. Managed by Bob Shamrock. In 1977, Ken, a troubled 13-year-old, was adopted by Bob. Bob, who runs the Shamrock Home for Boys, which opened in 1968. And the two are inseparable today. A marvelous story of a man opening up his house and his heart to a troubled youth. He also made a donation to a youth program here at the local YMCA, both going in and meeting some of these kids, as well as uh, donating $500 to help buy some mats. Jim, let's look at the shoot fighting things we might see from Shamrock tonight. Well, of course, he's a grappler. He also throws punches. He deals with arm and leg locks. He put a lock on uh, Pat Smith, and he is a master of submission. Ken Shamrock from Lockford, California. That's in the Sacramento area, about 40 miles south. Last couple of years, he's also fought in Muay Thai. And there's the Shamrock fans. Shamrock, any of a certain clovers or clover-like plants with leaflets in groups of three. There's Bob Shamrock, and he is intense when he's watching his son compete. Well, I'm not sure if it the camera caught it, but Ken Shamrock went over there and gave him a kiss on the forehead. Shamrock comes in with three flags, the American flag, the Japanese flag, and his Lion's Den flag, Lion's Den being the name of his school. A lot of flags, a lot of experience. His opponent tonight in the super fight, the Why Beast. Not, a little bit, just a little bit. I want to see the belt. Very narrowly missed taking the title in UFC 4. Dan Severin tore through the competition in UFC 5 to be named the ultimate fighting champion. Tonight, the Beast is back, and he's ready to show the world the meaning of the word super fight. I've turned up the intensity for this fight. I want to step into the octagon. The person that you see right now will be stepping aside. When that dead boat slams shut, there'll be time to release the beast. Here comes Daniel Severn. He has won so many titles. 1994 National AAU Greco-Roman Champion Senior Division. 1994 National AAU Outstanding Wrestler. National AAU Sambo Champion Senior Division. AAU Sambo World Champion Masters Division. 70 plus titles. I think he's actually found a home gym in the UFC. Yes, he loves it. Uh, he's perfectly uh, matched in this kind of a situation. He approaches it properly. He's grateful for the uh, notoriety he's getting, and he's learning more and more each fight. Jeff Blatnick, you know his discipline well. Well, he's a former wrestler. Obviously, he relies on grappling skills to dictate the situation. He'd like to knock you down, get on top of you. He has a number of different finishes that we saw in UFC 5, prominent being a choke or, of course, punching his opponent. In the corner will be Eric Hybestreit. He will be the man with the towel and his manager, Phyllis Lee, and wants to say hello to Ohio. This is the super fight, 30-minute time limit, five-minute overtime. 50,000 to the winner, 25,000 to the runner-up, 30,000 each if there's a draw. Let's go to Michael Buffer. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, SEG Sports Corporation presents the Super Fight. 30 minute time limit in a matchup of two of the most dangerous men in martial arts in the world today. Ladies and gentlemen, 
from Casper, Wyoming. There's only one thing left to say. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, a two-time veteran of the Ultimate Fighting Championship and returning super fighter. Fighting out of Lockford, California, he's ranked number one in the world by the Japanese Pancrase Association. From Lockford, California, 31 years old, six feet tall, 220 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the shoot fighting champion of the world, Ken Shaw! And his opponent across the octagon, returning tonight as the reigning Ultimate Fighting Champion, a wrestler with over 70 national and international titles to his credit, a record of five and one in the UFC competition. He's 37 years old and comes in weighing 260 pounds. He's six feet two from Coldwater, Michigan. He is the reigning Ultimate Fighting Champion of the world. Dan the Beast Severin. Weight could be a big factor here. Severin is at 260. Shamrock's up to 225 from 205. 6'2 for Severin, 6' foot for Shamrock. Keep in mind the altitude, 5,140 feet. They can grapple for as long as 35 minutes tonight. 30 minute time limit, five minute overtime. I don't expect it to go that long. Are you ready? Well, let's get it on. Okay, there was lots of concern about a time limit. I don't think that's gonna happen. These two are very evenly matched. If it comes down to grappling, I give the edge to Severn. If it comes down to punching, particularly on the feet, I'm gonna give it to Shamrock. And here's that wrestling background. They're tying up. Severin with the weight advantage. Severin black trunks. Shamrock in the lavender trunks. And Shamrock during our interview with him said, people don't respect my grappling ability. I think he wants to show people he's a very competent wrestler here. And this is one of the few fights we see where they're not striking in close, they're literally wrestling. Who will make the first effective move? Severin reaching for the leg, couldn't get it. Shamrock. Showing surprising power, standing up on his feet, despite giving away the lead. John McCarthy clears an object out of the ring. The people who don't know wrestling are seeing this and they're wondering what's going on. And this might be frustrating for Severn because Shamrock's just coming in there, trying to just tie Severn up. Let's see now if something else happens. A restart for the two and they'll go at it again. This is the UFC at its finest. Cat and mouse game between two masters of their disciplines. Fatigue, fatigue is so important in this fight. I think Severn knows it. Severn and Shamrock continue to grapple on their feet. Shamrock doing a very nice job of keeping himself away from the fence. Now we'll see what he can do. Severin's That's got a, a choke. Leg. That's a choke. That's, oh, Severin got out of it. Still fighting for the advantage. Shamrock doing a nice job here. He's going for the choke again. Shamrock trying to work in on the choke. Severin punching to the line. That's it. That's, That's it. it. Shamrock wins. Severin choked. Got choked out. He's performed by Shamrock. What power he showed on his feet. Oh, there'll be plenty of respect now for Ken Shamrock. He knew what he was doing. Shamrock wins the super fight. And look at that, Jim. Look at this. This is what makes this event oh, yes. unique. Oh, yes. Here was the try at the 
He had a chance a couple times at chokes. I think there's one yeah, of them right yeah. there. He watched Severin get Dan out. Dan got out of this one, yes. He got out of the first one. But I think that Dan realized that this altitude was going to take a lot out of him because when he stood up, I don't think he believed he could win this fight. The upper body strength of Shamrock proved to be the difference as well as his technique. Oh, there's no doubt about it. He's very strong, but he also has that technique and that choke is... He almost had it twice, so it means that he probably has much more technique than... Let's go to Jeff. I'm here with the victorious Ken Shamrock, winner of the super fight. And Ken, you tamed the beast. I sure did, you know. It's a lot of speculation about my technique and that I couldn't wrestle with him on the ground. And if he, if he took me to the ground, he'd win. Uh, and he's Greco-Roman. He couldn't take me down, he can't throw me. I proved my ability. I could do submission and I can wrestle. Well, there was no doubt you seemed to come up there and not mind tying up with a wrestler. You said people don't respect my grappling ability. It seemed you were quite content to stay in that lock position, make him spend energy. I want him to throw me. I want to see if he can throw me. If he threw me, then uh, I'd, I'd go from there. I want to test his ability. I want to see what he had. Found out he's strong. He's got uh, good balance. But, uh, you know, I was able to hold him off. Was there any special way you prepared for seven? Yeah. I've got uh, my big friend Scott, who's one of my dojo. He's about 260, 270. I believe he'll be on alternate in the next, uh, next event. So I used him to lay on top of me. I used him to crowd me up against the fence. I practiced to guillotine because I saw him duck his head a lot to grab a leg. So I knew he was going to do that. I wanted to wear him down a little bit in the middle of the ring, make him use some energy trying to take me down. I knew he was going to drive me into the fence. So as soon as I felt he was a little tired, I let him drive into the fence. I knew he was going to reach for the leg. I ran down and choked him. It seemed you applied that choke the first time and he was able to get out of it. Barely. <laughs> I didn't have it sunk in real deep. That one I was going for the Adam's apple. I was trying to put the bone on the Adam's apple, make him tap quick. But I missed the Adam's apple. The second time I just sunk it in and choked him. Were you surprised that when he shot there, he just left his head between your legs where you could easily grab it? No, he's done that before. Every time he puts somebody in a fence, he reaches up for the head and reaches down for the leg. So I had to clear my head, then go for the, his head. What's next for Ken Shamrock? I don't know. I'm going to enjoy this victory, and uh, we'll see what's going to happen next. Well, as a wrestler, you've earned my respect as a wrestler. I sure appreciate it, because a lot of people have doubted me against Seven because he was a grappler. And I stayed in the guard with Gracie. So no one really knew what I could do because of Gracie's technique. He keeps people out of uh, using their own technique by keeping them in the guard. So Gracie's good at doing that. But people don't really know when I get wide open, I can do a lot of stuff. Seems you have another very special person here with you. Yeah, this is my wife. She's been to all of them also. I think she's better. She's my toughest opponent. Well, you said you wanted to happy and uh, celebrate this moment. Why don't you, why don't you uh, take a look here at the monitor and uh, uh, watch yourself in the ring after that fight? Well, I was pretty happy right there because I knew he was tough. And I just tried to wear him down and choke him out. I knew if I went for a leg, it was going to be tough. I had to get in the right position. But he ducked his head. I was working on that. He did what I thought he'd do. I choked him. Well, it's obvious your father means a great deal to you. Your wife's here at your side during the super fight. She means a great deal to her. And obviously, uh, this sport, the UFC, seems to mean a great deal to you. Yeah, I'd like to say uh, hi to my compadres, Felipe and Stella, Gabby, Adriana, and Helica, and uh, Robert, Yolanda, and my three sons, Ryan, Connor, and Shamrock. I love you guys. There's nobody How about that belt? How about that belt? How's that feel around your waist? That's a sweet victory. You know, no one's ever won the Super Bout. Last time was a draw. I'm the first champion in the Super Bout. I'm the first champion in Japan. I'm very happy about some of the stuff that I've succeeded at, and I'm going to keep going. Well, you're a deserved champion. Ken Shamrock, congratulations on your Super Fight victory. Back to you, Bruce. Thank you. That's right. He is the first Super Fight champ, and there's the first Super Fight champion's dad.